Hi everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Uh, this is another video of what I got made last week. Um, I also did a little bit of sh yarn shopping too. Um, I cannot find Parfait Chunky online in Canada. Um, Mary Maxim has been out of it for, they have two colors, they have white and rose. Um, so um, me and hubby actually went to town today um, to do a little bit of shopping and I'm like, oh, I'll just stop in a Dollarama and see what they have because I haven't checked the yarn, like the yarn there lately. And sometimes you can get some yarn there. But I went to Dollarama. I've never seen this um, there before, but I'm having such a hard time getting brown yarn. Um, I got this. Um, I've never bought this brand before, so if you live in Canada and you've bought this yarn, um, can you let me know if it's good quality? I hope it is because I got like 10 balls of this light brown color. And then I got two pink. Oh, actually I got three pink. And I got two speckled dark gray. And then I got this. And they're only $3 a ball, so that's pretty good, right? So. I should have maybe bought one or two balls to try it first before buying like 20 balls. <laughs> but whatever. I'm sure I'll use it for something. So I got those at Dollarama today. And then I went to Walmart because I have a Michaels, a Walmart, and a Dollarama like pretty close to each other. So at Walmart I got this and it's Bernat Blanket and what's it called Morning Dove and I've never seen that color before so and I thought this would be really pretty for like turtles like the shell of turtles so I got that then I got another Bernat Blanket and this is South Seas so I thought again good for turtles because I love my turtles. And then also at Walmart, I got this acrylic yarn and I thought this would be really pretty for um, my coffee cozies. So after Christmas, you know, like when we start getting into the spring, um, I, I thought that would be really good for coffee cozies. And then I went to Michael's and I just got some light brown of the Chenille Home Slim and I got what color is this terracotta so I got that and then I got some Java because I'm having a super hard time finding brown like brown tones um, and then I cannot find my glue sticks in this mess of a craft room so I got some more glue sticks. So that was my little um, mini haul of yarn that I got today while we wrote shopping. And Costco was crazy. Like, I'm in Canada and yesterday was Remembrance Day. So all the stores were closed yesterday. So, yeah, totally forgot that. Costco probably would be a madhouse and it was it was crazy um, but yeah oh also at Walmart I got some new fabrics so I got some more sloths I got these cute little bunnies so I have pretty much crocheted for the week what I'm gonna get crocheted um, so I'm going to, I think for the rest of the day today, today's Sunday, um, so I'm going to upload this video tomorrow, but I got some more fabric for some uh, zipper pouches. And this one has little mushrooms on it, so I thought that would be really cute. 
um, and I thought these ones would be good for like the inside. So this got like mushrooms on it and this one has like birch trees and cardinals. So after I show you what I got made um, for plushies this week, I'm going to spend the rest of the day um, making zipper pouches and then I'll come back and show you um, what I made in, in my bags. Um, I also got some more coffee cozies done because I had four of these and four of these left over from um, last week so I pumped out a bunch of cozies to use up um, the rest of my felties. I love him. He's so cute. So I made some more cozies. Um, I'm just going to put those back in the bag and those will have to be packed back up in my market stuff. So, so I'll show you what I made um, for plushies last week. And then um, I'm going to spend the rest of the day making zipper pouches and then I'll come back and show you what I made in zipper pouches. Okay, I want to save him to the end because he's a new pattern. Um, so I made another cow because my other two cows sold at my last market. So I have three markets this week. I have one Thursday night, I have one Saturday, and I have one Sunday. So I've got to make the stuff. And I crocheted all day Monday. And the only thing I got crocheted was a bunch of triceratops. And I woke up Tuesday morning, four in the morning, my wrists were burning on fire. And I think it's because the coffee cozies that I made I tried the uh, yarn under technique. Yeah, yarn under is not for me. It just, I, I think it's just the different motions. My wrist can't handle it. So I didn't crochet anything Tuesday or Wednesday because my wrists were that bad. I just couldn't continue. Um, so yeah, so I took two, like two days off, which I didn't want to do because I have three markers this week. So anyway, I made another cow. Um, I, I will link all the patterns in the description um, box below. So, and then I made a bunch more of these little um, birds because I made eight and I only had three left. So, let's see, how many did I do? I'm just going to hold, I got my bag in front of me. thing like this all the little stuff gets put on the bottom but I actually got quite a bit done those are all okay so I got one two I got I got three little mallard ducks no nope, I did more than that I got I got four little mal ma, mallard mallard I should say that word over and over and over again because for some reason I can't pronounce it. Mallard. Four mallard ducks. I did two more chickens. And then I did four more of these little birdies. Aren't they cute? Um, I didn't do any more bald eagles because none of those sold. So. I just made what sold. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got 10 little birdies done. And then I did a bunch more uh, triceratops. Let's see. I did purple, light blue, mustard, teal. Let's see. I did like a peachy pink. I did, I got a whole bunch of them here. So that's just a few of them. 
and then I'll tell you how many I got done. Another light blue, another peachy pink, Uh, another mustard and I think that's it so one two three four five so I got nine triceratops done so I got that done and then oh I also did a uh, larger triceratops in the blanket yarn because I've never I've never done one in the blanket yarn before I don't know if I like him so I only did one. I don't know. The only time I really use the blanket yarn is for the turtles and for some reason they look good on the turtles but maybe I'm just not used to crocheting with the blanket yarn I just got to get more used to uh, using it. So then my special customer that I have, um, she wanted to get some Oh, where did he go? Okay. She wanted to get some clams. And she wanted um, a variegated shell with white sparkle yarn. And you're probably not going to see that on camera. But it's got sparkle in it. And then she wanted a pink clam. And the only clam I had was like... Um, a thin chenille so I did the clam and the thin chenille and I think they turned out really really cute and then the other clam she wanted um, gray sparkle inside and that's the color she picked out and there's pink in this um, yarn too so I did both of the clams in pink I think they're so cute okay then she wanted a small turtle and I sell these for $15 but because she buys so much stuff from me I, I give them to her for $10 so she wanted a, a pink turtle and a variegated um, shell and I did silver glitter eyes on him so I made that and I went through my stock and I only have like two small turtles left. So I made some more. I think I made six. And I made two with this color, like a green with a pretty variegated shell. Like I love this. Um, and this pattern, she also has, um, this is a modification for the sea turtle flippers. Um, the original pattern called for like a land turtle with bobble stitches for the, the legs. But I, I really like the, the sea turtle legs better. So I only did one with the, the bobble stitches for the legs. So I did that one. And then I did two of like a light green with a black and white variegated shell. And I, I just think these are so cute. And it's nice to have like this lower price point for people because not everybody um, has money to spend on plushies. And then I did um, a green turtle with a purple shell and I did his eyes in purple which I think is really really cute so that's what I got crocheted um, this week I have one more thing to show you and it's um, it's a new pattern I'm just getting all this back in a bag because all some of these will have to be priced. Um, the little critters, I just put them in a basket on my table with the price in front of them. So, get my cow back in here. So, I bought I bought two new patterns, but I only had time to make one. 
and I got this pattern from all from Jade and it's really cute like I don't have any kitten patterns so I did a little kitten kitty cat and this pattern comes with like three different variations for the head so I think the first one is just if you want to do a solid cat um, and then this one is like one spot on his head and you can just crochet the ears in whatever color you want. Um, she did her embroidery on the nose a little bit different. I tried it her way and I didn't like it. So um, I just took pink thread and just embroidered a nose on. Um, I did order safety eyes, like safety noses from AliExpress. Um, I just haven't gotten them yet. And it'll probably be another two to three weeks before I see those. But how cute and look at his tail <laughs> isn't he cute I do want to make more um, but I find the more expensive items um, they're a little bit harder to sell but like I said he, this could be like something that draws people into my booth and then they buy some smaller ticketed items so so I made a kitty cat I also bought um, another pattern from her, and it's Sabrina the Spider. I just haven't had time to make it yet. Um, and I also have an order for six beaded Christmas spiders. Um, she doesn't need them for a couple weeks, so I'm going to push those back because I only have four spiders in stock, and I have three markets this this week coming. So. I think I want to make some more zipper pouches and then get these three markets over with and then I'll concentrate on uh, doing some more beaded spiders. So I'll make some zipper pouches with the new material that I got and then I'll come back and show you those because it's only 1.30 in the afternoon. And so I got the rest of the day to make some zipper pouches and then I'll add those to this video and then that will probably be it for the week. But yeah, my little kitty cat. And the pattern, her name is Kelly. I don't think she looks like a Kelly though. I don't know. I kind of like Winnie. So this is Winnie. And she'll look really cute beside Willie the pig. And hopefully she sells quick. So I'll be back with some zipper pouches to show you and then that'll be it for the week. All right. Okay, so I did get some bags run. So I just thought I would jump on and show you. So I did a sloth bag and I just did like a pretty green inside. I did two mushroom bags. I did one with a red zipper and one with a green zipper. And I just did red on the inside of them both. Then I did a cardinal bag. And that one I did with black and white inside. I love this one with the little bunnies so cute and I didn't really have an inside fabric that kind of really matched so the best I could do was like a plummy plummy plum color which I thought kind of looked good with his ears and cheeks So I did that and then I did a kitty bag and then I just did that for the inside. So it's fun to play with your zipper colors and your fabric colors. So much fun. So would you guys like a sneak peek to a purchase 
off of Etsy that I did tonight and I'm so excited I can't wait so I bought this bundle from Crochet Grove on Etsy and like I follow her on Instagram so I knew that this was going to be coming out today um, and I've probably known for a couple weeks um, I don't know that I'll do the elf just because um, I don't think I have the colors and I know I can change the colors but I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, the snowman because I bought white glitter yarn from Walmart last week or the week before and it's it's like the Walmart mainstays which is kind of similar to Bernat blanket so I'll probably make a snowman first I don't know that I'll do the hat but I'll definitely do a scarf um, I want to do the reindeer and I want to do the gingerbread um, so um, in Canada for all four um, it was 1118 which I think it's pretty good for four different patterns um, so um, I'm hoping to get some of these patterns done this week um, oh, there's also a baby Grinch pattern that I want to buy but I don't know I still haven't done the spider pattern that I bought from all, all from Jade so I kind of got to stop buying patterns until I get some done and I did have a Grinch pattern that I bought last year and I made three Grinches never sold one Grinch last year so let me fit, flip the camera around and show you the Grinch that I made last year um, he's kind of big so I don't think I'll be able to do it um, from this orientation but let me flip the camera around and I'll show you the Grinch that I bought last year okay I'm back so I just wanted to show you the Grinch that I bought last year um, and this time last year I wasn't doing um, critters with the plush yarn I was only using acrylic and I don't know if that's why he didn't sell or not but he's quite large um, and I made three of these guys and I didn't sell one of them and he has a hat that um, you can take off so he's got look at, like he's adorable he really is um, and I don't know if maybe I should make him again in the plush yarn and I put little jingle bells on his hat and I didn't sew the hat on because I wanted it you know if a little kid wanted to you know put his hat on and off but he's really cute so I, I, I want to buy the baby Grinch but I don't know he didn't sell and I'm pretty sure that the baby Grinch would sell because he's super super cute um, but I don't know I think I'm gonna make the patterns that I bought from Crochet Grove and I still have the spider that I need to do from all uh, from Jade so maybe I'll work on those this week and I've got three markets this week too so he's gonna come with me I put one in the floral shop and then if he sells I have another one but I'm not making any more of this guy in the acrylic and I only have him at $40 which I don't think is unreasonable like he's a really good size and he was a lot of work like he took a long time so I, I'm not lowering him he's staying at 40 because he's worth it but yeah we'll see so that's it for this week and I will be back next Monday with what I made this week and how I did at my three markets that I had this week three like I'm exhausted just thinking about it but 
hopefully I can make some money and I can buy some more yarn and yeah, be fun. So thank you everybody. Um, please like, subscribe. I'd love to have you follow me. Um, I think I'm at like 765 um, subscribers. So I'm thinking once I get to a thousand, I'll do a giveaway. Um, I'll probably just keep it to Canada and the United States just because shipping from Canada is it's so expensive. But maybe a zipper pouch, maybe, I'm thinking. And I'll let the winner pick out the pouch that they want and what size they want. All right. So have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye. Say bye, Grinch.